Alright, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today we are going to go over spec mining a new coin called Hive Coin, and it was brought to the attention, or brought to my attention, by two people. First of all, uh, Matt Electron Engineering, he has his own channel, I will leave a link down below, and also MC, who is in our Discord and Misfit Mining, and as well as my Anonymous Miner Discord. So I appreciate both of them, let me give a shout out to them real quick, and now let's get into this. So Hivecoin is a new coin. It was made in March. Hold on, let me pull up the white paper. So this is the white paper for Hivecoin, and it says right here, Hivecoin creates a simplified version of the smart contract module, and it's basically a copy of Hivecoin, I'm sorry, Ravencoin and Bitcoin together. Uh, it also uses the Kapow algorithm, which is very interesting to me. I know it creates a lot of heat. This is the exact same thing as the Raven algorithm. However, the thing that interests me is this next part right here. It resists ASIC miners. So the Kapow algorithm actually resists ASIC miners and it keeps them off of the mining, whereas the spec mining that we were talking about before, Ravencoin Lite, you can get ASICs for that. So this is a ASIC resistant coin. Uh, I know Raven Light was talking about it, but this coin has already done it. And this coin was started on March 1st, I believe. March, no, far, sorry. 5th of March, 2021. So this is a whole new coin. This is all spec mining. This is not gonna make you a whole bunch of money. This is not financial advice. This is just something else that I'm doing. So right off the bat, I'm gonna show you how to mine this Hive coin. And I'm also going to show you how to dual mine Hivecoin with Zill, because that way you're dual mining speculative coins. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is we are going to need to download this wallet. So I came over here to hivecoin.org slash wallets, and I'm going to click on this Windows wallet right here. And we are going to save that to my desktop. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to need to do is grab T-Rex and we're gonna need to set up a pool and everything so as soon as this is done downloading we'll come right back alright so now we are back and I opened that up I installed it all it went through my seed phrase and everything so I didn't really show you guys that don't ask me why but uh, now we're here let me click hide okay so now we are open in the wallet it looks exactly like the Ravencoin light wallet doesn't it interesting so now we are going to go file, receiving, put a new one in there, we'll label it uh, new, okay, and then I'm going to go right there and copy the address, and now I've got it, there we go, so now I just need to go on to the mining pool, so let's close this, I got my wallet address, you can see it's still updating here, I'm 25 weeks behind, that's fine. You can just leave this running in the background and it will catch up. Eventually it will catch up to your balance. So you can still mine to your wallet before you finish syncing it, as long as you get your address like I just did. So now the next step here is we're going to get T-Rex and we're going to get Zill Miner. If you haven't already figured out where to download those, you can check some of my other videos. I will leave links for those and we're going to get all this stuff set up. All right, so the next step here is going to be to download T-Rex Miner and Zill Switcher. Remember, I'm going to do the Zill Switcher too. So, Zill Switcher is right here. If you click on the Mega Z download link here, it'll take you here. You can right click download, I already did. And you can also download T-Rex. I got the most current version because it has Kapow right here. And that's what we're going to be using. Um, that is also downloaded here. I will leave links to all this stuff. And then the last thing that we're going to need is the pool. So we have our pool right here. And it shows US Hive Miner right here. So let's grab that real quick. We'll minimize this down. And then we're going to go extract on uh, T Rex here. Extract it all right here. All right. We can close that for now. And then we're also going to extract all of our Zill Switcher folder. So there we go we got both of them out now I want to take the contents of Zill Switcher and we're gonna remove that and we're gonna put it into T-Rex so paste that into there 
Now if I come in here at the bottom, because it's a Z, it'll have Zill Switcher. So I've got Zill Switcher in here, and I've got T-Rex in here. I am also going to need Phoenix Miner to mine um, the Zill. Uh, your choices for mining Zill are Zill Miner, Phoenix Miner, or uh, Team Red Miner. And since I have NVIDIA cards, I'm going to need uh, Phoenix Miner. So let me go grab Phoenix Miner real quick. Uh, I like to come over here just to grab Phoenix Miner just because I know it'll give me a good link for Phoenix Miner. Here we go. And info, Phoenix Miner downloads right there. Phoenix Miner, Windows, Zip. There we go. And we're going to download that to the same spot. Save. And it says it blocked it, so I'm going to hit show all right here, and we're going to hit keep the dangerous file. It thinks it's a dangerous file, but it's not. That's why, again, why I went to the Ethermine website. You can choose how to get there however you want, but that's why I went that way, uh, is to get it legit. So now we're going to extract Phoenix Miner to this file as well. There we go. And I'm going to copy all the contents of this as well. So we're going to cut. We're going to go back. Actually, we can close this. And we're going to paste all that into T-Rex Miner as well. So now, if I come in here, we should have Phoenix Miner, Zill Switcher, and there's Phoenix Miner. Zill Switcher, T-Rex. We got all of them in one source. We are now going to choose one of these Raven Miner files to modify. So we'll come in here. This is going to be the one that we're going to do for Hivecoin. So T-Rex is fine. Kapow, that's fine. Stratham right here. We are going to need to replace this with our pool. So our pool is going to be Hivecoin pool right here. Copy that. Come back over here. Paste that in there. And now we need to change this because this is probably a developer address to my Hivecoin address. So I've got that over here from my wallet. I just showed how to do that. We're going to paste that in here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name my rig. 3060 because that's the 3060 rig. I'm going to erase pause there and we're going to save that. Okay, so now if I come back here and I double click this, it should work. So I just want to double check that it loads and everything works before I go any further and try to set up the Zill switcher. And you see that? Da generating DAG file of 1.27 gigabytes. So you can mine this with much smaller cards than I'm about to use for this. It does look like it is working. It says it has a bunch of memory left. I'm just waiting here for a hash rate and then we'll go on. So while I'm waiting for that, let me get back into here. We're going to go down to Zill Switcher. And if I double click on this, it'll pop up um, a miner and it'll tell you all these different things. You can also come over here to this website and it'll tell you the same stuff. And what I want is to know what number T-Rex is right here. So T-Rex, that's what I need to know, is 17. And I also want to grab this Zill switcher, and this is going to be a, to make a bat file to just start switching my uh, Zill automatically. Okay, so we're going to come back over here now. Let me double check the miner. There we go. We got a hash rate on both. I have them underclocked quite a bit. My uh, power limit's, uh, I think, 60-something. And it's because they're stacked into one tower together. But it does work. So we are mining. We're mining to the hive miner pool. That's awesome. All that works. Let's close that. And now I'm going to choose another one of these files. That was Raven 2 Miners. Let's rename this actually real quick. Uh, rename. And I'm going to remove part of that just to make this easier on me. There we go. And now I'm going to take this Raven Miner file. And we're going to go edit run anyway. I'm going to erase everything in this file. This is for the Zill Switcher part. So I think I already... There we go. There's Zill Switcher. Uh, the miner.bat. That's why I changed that file before to just be capital Raven. Like that. The M is the miner, 17. Zill Switcher.exe is the file that it's going to run. And right here, all I need to do is put my Zill address now. So I have my Zill address here. Uh, I show how to get a Zill address and another one. Uh, Coinbase has great Zill addresses. Exodus has a Zill address. And so does um, 
free wallet, I believe, has a Zill address that starts with ZIL right there. That's what you need. So there we go. It now has Zill Switcher dash M, which is uh, Zit dash M with a 17, which denotes T Rex Miner dash R Raven. That's what it's going to run when um, the Zill round is not up. So it'll run Raven.bat. And then this is my Zill address for when the Zill round comes up. So now we're going to close that. I'm going to rename this. We're going to name this uh, Zill Start. There we go. And if I double click this now, it opens this and it should automatically open. There we go. And we are now mining. So I have Zill Switcher set up and I am now mining Hivecoin. So uh, I'm going to stop for now and I will come back when the miner shows up on the pool. Uh, how much uh, Hivecoin we've mined. Alright, so just switched over to Zillica for the first time. I am going to click allow access right here for the Phoenix Miner. But check this out. So it actually killed T-Rex and it started mining Zillica on its own. So these are hash rate limited cards, so they're only going to get 25 mega hash on Ethereum. But they will make a little bit of Zillica, so it's worth it in my opinion. Uh, and it's still not showing up quite on the pool, so we're going to wait for that and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we have eight accepted shares now, um, if we go over, to so here we are at the pool now, put my wallet address in, it's been probably two or three hours now, and I have actually gotten paid out 849.551 uh, Hivecoin, and I have not made any Zillica yet, I have gotten a couple accepted shares. I will update you guys in about a week on how much Hivecoin and Zillica I have made because both of these are fresh addresses, so I will be able to track exactly how much I made. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you in about a week for an update on this. Uh, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate that, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great one, everybody.